Elon Musk showed off his dance moves during the introduction of Tesla's Model Y electric sports utility vehicle program on Tuesday at the firm's new Shanghai facility, where the company delivered its first automobiles made outside of the U.S. to the public. This is an example of a modal window. On Tuesday, the world's largest electric vehicle manufacturer launched its factory outside of Berlin, handing over the first 30 Model Ys to customers in front of German Chancellor Olaf Scholz. Elon Musk, Tesla's CEO, kept his promise to dance, like he did when the company's Shanghai facility debuted two years ago. Tesla's stock gained for the sixth day in a row, rising as much as 6.8% to $984, bringing the company's market worth back beyond $1 trillion. At the celebration, Musk danced gleefully on stage before removing his jacket and tossing it aside, revealing a t-shirt with a caricature of the factory. He labeled the video NSFW not safe for work in a tweet. Ultimately, Tesla Model Y will have more demand than perhaps all of Tesla's other cars combined, he projected, his voice quivering with passion at times as he discussed the Shanghai factory's accomplishments. Shanghai Mayor Ying Yong and other key government officials were present during the occasion. Tesla officials, on the other hand, did not disclose any additional information on the Model Y project, which is being built in China. A Tesla spokesman declined to provide any additional information. The 5 billion euro plant, which was first proposed in late 2019, will increase Tesla's ability to produce electric sport utility vehicles as Russia's invasion of Ukraine raises gasoline prices and fuels already surging EV demand. Musk, 50, is concerned about how rapidly the business can ramp up production in the face of industry-wide supply chain difficulties such as semiconductor and battery material shortages. During a visit to the plant building site in October, Musk stated, The start of manufacturing is nice, but volume production is the hard part. Tesla's goal, he claimed at the time, was to produce 5,000 to 10,000 vehicles each week by the end of the year. The factory start of Model Y deliveries is the result of a surprise announcement Musk made more than two years ago when accepting an award at a ceremony attended by the CEOs of BMW AG, Volkswagen AG, and Audi. Tesla has hired almost 3,000 workers in Germany's automotive heartland, and vehicles are currently flowing off the assembly line. Tesla claimed in an emailed statement that the figure will rise by a few thousand in the coming months. Once full car production and a 50 gigawatt hour battery manufacturing plant are up and running, the business plans to employ 12,000 people. We have to get behind progress that drives new technology, Schultz said in remarks planned for an address at the site. In a recent video, Musk stated, It will also be our most sophisticated gigafactory. For this to be a showpiece for the world, we're going to make it incredibly environmentally friendly. When fully operational, the factory would produce 500,000 cars per year, far exceeding the 450,000 battery electric vehicles sold globally by German rival Volkswagen in 2021. For the time being, Volkswagen still has a 25% market share in Europe's electric vehicle market, compared to Tesla's 13%. On March 4th, municipal authorities gave Tesla the green light to begin production subject to a number of conditions, including water usage and air pollution control. When local environmental groups filed a protest against the environmental ministry, disputing the license it provided to Tesla's water supplier, the manufacturer was on the verge of losing its water supply contract. We're just sad Musk didn't undertake the moonwalk, given his involvement in space. After years of development and delays, SpaceX is set to fly its first Dragon commercial crew spacecraft with passengers this year. The corporation is also increasing the number of missions it can carry out with its Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets, including weekly launches of its Starlink broadband satellite series. SpaceX is also working on the Starship, a giant new rocket that will be used for deep space flights with large cargo, and eventually, humans. Musk's two firms have occasionally collided in a bit of high-tech cross-promotion. In February 2018, SpaceX flew a cherry red Tesla Roadster into outer space as the payload for the first Falcon Heavy test flight. It was Musk's personal automobile. At the helm was Starman, a mannequin dressed in a SpaceX spacesuit. Musk introduced Tesla's new Cybertruck, an electric truck that looks something out of a science fiction movie, in November 2019. Musk said that the Cybertruck is built of the same stainless steel as SpaceX's Starship at the unveiling. Vehicle production is expected to gradually ramp up in Texas and Germany, according to analysts. Although Tesla moved fast to build a factory, it was hampered by months of permitting delays, which irritated the world's wealthiest man. Activists contesting the tree clearing that preceded construction and the consequences the facility will have on animals and the water supply were among the concerns raised at the site. The latter issue might linger and affect Musk's growth plans, with the local water authority warning last week that more extraction permits are required for further development. Musk is really something. There's no doubt it's why Tesla is where it is right now. This brings us to the end of our video. Thanks for watching. Bye.